IED activity 5.6, physical property analysis. This activity is 50 upload submission points on an MLA formatted document or MLA heading document. Procedure, all responses to exercises below on MLA heading document are one point each. Hand calculations work in binder are one point each for binder check due on Tuesday, February 3, 2015. I would read all the procedure, all the introduction, and then there are three parts to make and analyze using hand calculations and inventor. The first object is this. The key to this is each spacing is 0.25 inches. So when you go to here, Remember your x-axis is this way, x of blue is z, and y is green and it's up and down. So when you count in the x, you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It is not 7 inches though because each space is 0.25 so you can count it as if it is 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 1, 1.25, 1.5, 1.75. So this is 1.75 in the X. Total Y, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1.25. You know the math behind this. Z, front to back. Maybe you could go every four is one. 1.25. And then you would know that this is 0.25. Three of these guys are 0.75. This, that, or the other. First thing you should do is probably create a standard new IPT. Make this part standard IPT in inches. You have the skills to sketch rectangles, remove cut, geometrically constrain, and numerically constrain the shapes you are extrude adding or extrude cutting. Remember, each sketch must be fully constrained, and it is ideal that you only have one sketch open at a time, because when you do a feature such as extrude, it consumes that sketch. It's just for memory. 1.75, tab 1.25, hit enter, hit escape. I'm okay, in front, I am fully constrained, I will finish sketch. I will extrude this rectangle in the Z direction, not one inch, but I believe it's 1.25. You extrude adding, let's do that again. Notice how you have a sketch here, nothing has happened to the sketch. When you extrude, you select that shape, it will consume this sketch. If you want to find that sketch or edit, you hit the plus sign next extrusion here, and there's a sketch. Oh, yes. Um, this would be a good time to save as. Save as. You know, five activities, you call this 5.6 aluminum. Aluminum one, last name. So since this is aluminum, this is the color changer, this is the material changer. Let's pick aluminum over here. Let's just pick aluminum 6061. All right, continuing on. Let's pick aluminum 601. 6-1. So now we're changing the material properties. I believe that is the default color for aluminum. I think changing the color won't matter because it is still aluminum. So we have an aluminum block that is painted blue. Let's create a sketch. We need to Z 
blue is a bad color. Magenta. Now we need to cut away this rectangle here. One, two, three, four, five. It is not five inches because each inch is 0.25. So if you do the math, I believe we are cutting away a 1.25 rectangle here. Rectangle. Tab. Go back to our picture. 0.75 high. We hit escape, you should be fully constrained. This is a uh, extrude remove or extrude cut. Notice when you hit extrude, you select the shape. It is not cut, or it is not add, it is cut, but we want to cut it to next. Notice how the sketch goes away. There you go. I like to sketch on the top over here for this guy. You need to create, sketch a rectangle from this yellow line to this yellow line. Three lines are bad. You need two dimensions. Looking at your picture, each green line will do a dimensional constraint from yellow to green in between. is not that much. It is that much from this line to this line. It is not that much. I think it is that much. Hit escape. You are not fully constrained. Turn to sketch. This is an extrude, not add, but remove. That is too much. If you look at your picture, you are cutting it down one grid space, which eventually is 0.25 inches. Now, last sketch you need to make. I like to sketch here. I will sketch a re random rectangle that does not touch any of the yellow lines in outer space. We can dimension this rectangle here. It is not that big. It should be that big. Or that wide. It is not that deep. It should be one grid space, which is 0.25. Now, you have a green rectangle that is the correct size, but you still need two dimensions over here. Let's use a geometric constraint called coincidence. Coincident is very valuable. Hover over here, you find the midpoint, green dot, to midpoint, green dot. It locks it in. When you hit finish sketch, this is not an extrude add but is an extrude cut distance to next. So there's your part. So moving on to the hand calculation portions. What is the density of aluminum grams per cubic centimeter? I'll give you this, 2.710 gram, oh, grams, 2.710 grams per cm cubed. It's a good, good answer to know. This is metric, so we need to convert it to pounds per cubic inch. Make sure you know how to convert. It's like a chemistry 101 question. Magenta is a great color. Find the mass of the object. If it's made of aluminum, you will use answer number one when you do your hand calculation for volume. This is hand calculation. Okay. Another hand calculation. Surface area, hand calculation. What am I doing? Hand calculation, hand calculation. Okay, so here we go. Six, what are the physical properties presented in the CAD software? Include units. Density, mass, surface area, volume. So how to get this? We know this is aluminum. 
You can paint it any color. If you go to eye properties, physical tab, when you make it aluminum, 2.710 grams per cubic centimeter. You hit update. Surface area of this part is that much. The volume is that much in inches cubed. Calculate the center of gravity. Kind of crazy. So notice, no matter what color you pick, let's make it drastic. Opposite of magenta cyan. I pro, I properties, physical, the density and mass, area, and volume stay the same. However, if you change the material to, let's say, I or lead, and you hit oh, the mass changed, pound mass area is the same, but the density is the same. So you can use this for any physical property of material, but the physical volume stays the same because it's still shaped the same and the area stays the same. So the vendor is very valuable like that. So on the activity, you finished aluminum part number one. Good thing to do now is move in, create a new sketch or create a new standard IPT for brass object number two. Create a sketch. Remember, each grid space is 0 0.25. So on your paper, you count. Each spacing is 0.25. I'm just doing this from memory. I hope that is correct. You hit finish sketch. And then you extrude add, extrude add. Okay, extrude add. Um, this would be a good time to save. Save this as brat or 5.6 brat to last name. I've already made a mistake. Correct mistake in the sketch. I know the x dimension should not be four. It should actually be two. When you hit finish sketch, that's how you correct it. That's how you get back in a sketch if you messed up the sketch and have already extruded it. Change the color because the color doesn't matter. Yellow looks awesome. I create a sketch on the front. Now, rectangle. I know I need a rectangle in the upper right, or upper left, 0.5, tab 0.5. I need another rectangle in the upper, oops, upper right corner. I need a rectangle in the upper left and upper right corner, which ends up being two squares. Now, rectangle. Let's draw this rectangle in outer space. It should be green. We will. So here's your randomly drawn rectangle. I know that the height of this rectangle it's not that, it should be 0 0.25. Then, let's use a geometric constraint. Geometric constraint, this midpoint to this bottom midpoint. Locks it in. There we go. And now I think we just need the length of this. There you go. There are many ways to do this. Now, finish sketch. We are extrude cutting all three of these. Not add, but we are cutting to next.